for today. Let's look at this fundamental and interesting number theory question. Here is the question. Find all integers x such that x to the power of 86 congruent to 6 mod 29. Please have a good try before you look at the answer. Before the discussion of the solution, let's look at the background for this question. The field of model arithmetic was started from Gauss in his book Disquisition Arithmetic in 1801. And we know that if a, b are integers such that a minus b divides n, if and only if a is congruent to b mode n. There's one interesting and important theorem that we'll use for this question, that is Fermat's little theorem. So here is a statement of the theorem. Let p be a prime number and a be any integer. Then a to the power of p minus a is always divisible by p. So we can write as a to the power of p congruent to a mod p. Or we even can write as a to the power of p minus 1 congruent to 1 mod p. If a and p are co-prime. Note that this statement is if then statement, which means that, and it is not if and only if statement, meaning that if a to the power of p congruent to a mod p, p may not be a prime number. Here is an example. Note that 2 to the power of 3, 4, 1 is congruent to 2 mod 3, 4, 1. However, 3, 4, 1 is not a prime number. Let's start our journey in solving this problem. By Fermat's little theorem, we know that x to the power of 28 is congruent to 1 mod 29 because 29 is a prime number. And note that 86 can be written as 3 times 28 plus 2. This means that x to the power of 86 is congruent to x to the power of 3 times 28 plus 2. Using indices property, this can be written as x to the power of 28 to the power of 3 times x squared. Using the Fermat's little theorem, it's congruent to 1 to the power of 3 times x squared, which is congruent to x squared mod 29. This means that if x to the power of 86 congruent to 6 mod 29, is equivalent to say that x squared congruent to 6 mod 29. And note that 6 can be written as 6 plus 2 times 29 mod 29. So x squared is congruent to 64 mod 29. And therefore, x squared minus 64 is congruent to x plus 8 times x minus 8 congruent to 0 mod 29. As such, x is congruent to negative 8 or x is congruent to 8 mod 29. And finally, x is congruent to 21 or 8 mod 29. So the answer for this question is x is congruent to 21 or 8 mod 29. Hope that you learned something new today and enjoyed this video. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.